Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how you can do these geometric sequences at home using Desmos.com. So if you took home your assignment to complete, we need to find certain terms. So like number 11 on our assignment, we are going to try to find the 13th term. So I have already written the explicit formula. 2 is our zero term, so 2 is in front, 4 is our common ratio, and then the n is our exponent, and in this case it's the 13th term. So I need to put this right here in my calculator to figure out what the 13th term is. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the internet, and up here I'm going to type in desmos.com. It's not the same as our graphing calculators here, but it will help you out when you're at home and don't have the Inspire. I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking Start Graphing. And right here where I can start typing, I'm going to go ahead and type the thing I highlighted, which was two parentheses, four close parentheses. To get the exponent, you are going to hit shift and then number six because that's that little up arrow. And it's going to pop it up in the exponent spot. Now I'm going to put in the term I'm looking for, which in this case was 13. As you can see here, I don't even have to push enter. It already calculates my answer. So that would be the 13th term. And it's a really big number because we are multiplying by four. If I want to do another one, another problem, all you have to do is hit enter and it will open up another space. And then you can go ahead and start doing the other numbers of your homework. If you have any other questions, I'll see you in tutoring.